Okay, now that we've wired up the thermostat and we've put our radio module in and we have the batteries and the power's back on, we need to tell it what type of HVAC system we do have. The first thing is, is we look at the top here and we have a switch that says normal or norm and HP. HP stands for heat pump. And we also have a second switch that says gas electric. The first one, the normal heat pump, you switch to decide whether you have a normal system or a heat pump system. What will be the dead giveaway for a heat pump system is that you'll have an O or a B wire, most likely an O wire, which will say that you have a heat pump. The other way is that when you tested the system before you put it in the thermostat and you put it in heat and you go outside and the compressor outside is running and it's blowing cool air out, then you know it's a heat pump. So if you switch it over to heat pump, the second button is to say what kind of auxiliary heat you have, if you have auxiliary heat, which would be shown by your W2 terminal here. If you have auxiliary heat, then it's either gas or electric and we switch this switch for that type of heat. After you do that, we recommend you hit the reset button. Okay, the thermostat will reset, and notice we're still on the off. What we do is we go ahead and we hit the menu button once. And if you notice now, to the left of the house, we have a little bar that says HVAC setup. And for a heat pump, we will have an A, or simply by taking and pressing the up and down arrows, a B or a C. And if you look, when we're in A, it says fast recovery heat pump with auxiliary heat. What that means is you have a heat pump and you have the auxiliary heat that we talked about, gas or electric, which means it provides heat when the temperature gets below 40 degrees outside. Fast recovery means that when the heat pump is running, and it kicks on the auxiliary heat, it will keep the auxiliary heat on until it reaches the set temperature. This brings the house to a more comfortable temperature at a faster rate, but it also uses a little bit more energy. Now if you take and you go to B, it says economy recovery heat pump with auxiliary. The economy recovery, basically when it's below 40 degrees, or when the auxiliary heat needs to come on, it will take and turn on the auxiliary heat until it hits the differential. Once it hits the differential, it will go back and run just the heat pump. This will take a longer amount of time, but it's also more economical and saves you money. Now if we press it again, we see we have a C, and it just says heat pump on there. That's for the people in Florida and Texas where it doesn't get real cold and they have a heat pump but they have no auxiliary heat, meaning you have no W2 on yours. At that, that's what a C would be. And after you get through saying it, you simply press the home and you're all set. <laughs>